Now, I'm sure there's been plenty of times you've wanted or needed to have the ability to print packaging slips or invoices in your WooCommerce stores, but then realize there's absolutely no native function for this included. This is where we can step up to WooCommerce PDF invoices and packaging slips. So let's take a look at how to get started with this free plugin for WooCommerce. So let's start by going ahead, installing and activating the plugin. We're going to head over to the plugins folder, choose add new. We're going to do a search for WooCommerce PDF. And we're going to choose this option, which is the WooCommerce PDF invoice and packaging slips. As you can see, it's got over 300,000 active installs and a great five star rating. We're going to click install now. Then we'll choose to activate. And once activated, we're ready to go ahead and set everything up. We're going to click on settings. And then we get the option to run the setup wizard. Now I would generally advise you to do this if you're new to this particular plugin as it streamlines the whole process. But don't worry if you choose not to, you can still come in later and make changes to anything whatsoever. All the settings are available. So let's go ahead and run the setup wizard. And this is going to take us through various different steps now in a very simple fashion. So this is perfectly fine. You can drop in the name of your shop itself and you can drop in your address. We'll click next, go through the next stage. Now we can choose the logo we want to use. We're going to set the image inside here and choose our logo from our uploads folder. We'll choose this option. We'll set our image. The next step is we can choose where we want to attach these PDFs for packaging slips and invoices, what emails we want to associate these with. Now this is entirely up to you exactly how you want to do it, but there are some that I would recommend. First of all, the new order. I would also put on there completed order and customer invoice. If you want to add any more on there, you can do, but these three basic ones are going to cover most use cases. We'll click on next, and then we can choose the display options. In other words, what information do we want to include inside our PDF invoices and packaging slips? You can choose from any of these five options. For this example, let's just choose all of them. But obviously, if some of these don't apply to you, your particular circumstances, then feel free to ignore them. We'll click next one more time. Then you can choose the paper format for the printout. Now, if you're based in the UK, you can choose A4. However, if you're based in the US, you can choose letter, which is probably more close to what you actually would be using. We'll leave this as A4 being based in the UK and click next. Now you've got the option to say you want to show the action buttons. Now the action buttons are part of the order section inside WooCommerce. We'll take a look at those once we set everything up so you can see exactly where these are. So we're going to say, yes, we want to show these action buttons because they're incredibly useful. We'll click next one more time. And there we go. We've basically set everything up. So now that we've installed the plugin and set up the basics, let's take a look at where our new PDF files are and how they look. Now bear in mind that you can still customize various different aspects of your PDFs if you don't like what you see. So I just placed the test order so we've got something all set up and I've hopped over into the order section. As you can see, here's my order. It's currently set to processing. We can confirm this and complete it, but you'll also notice we get two new icons, PDF invoice and PDF packaging slip. So this is where we can access those PDF documents. So now we can go ahead and we can click and that will open up a new tab. And you can see there's our invoice. So we can now print this off and include this with our order for our customer. It includes all the key information, including the business address, the invoice address, the invoice number, date, order number, and so on basically covering everything that's included in their order. So let's close this down. Let's take a look this time at the packaging. Click to open that up. And we now have a simple packaging slip that has the basic information, the address of the actual client or customer, the order number, order date, shipping method, and all the items they've included, including the customer note, if anything is included inside there. And as you can see, everything is branded up according to our particular business. So really useful information inside here. Let's close this down. Let's confirm the order to make sure the thing is completed. And here we go. So now we could go ahead and print off these wherever we wanted to use them. Now, giving your customers access to a downloadable PDF invoice can be super useful. And thankfully, WooCommerce PDF invoices and packaging slips lets us do that with relative ease. So let's take a look at where they are and what they look like for our customers. So if we go into the account section and go into my account, we can open up the option for orders. And inside there, you can see we've got a button for invoice. If we click to open this up, we'll open up the PDF copy of the invoice. So then the customer can download, print, do whatever they want with this. And it'll match up exactly what you're going to be sending them as part of their package. You can also send a copy of this as part of their email for the confirmation for their order. So lots of different ways in which you can integrate this into your entire ordering system. 
Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you can still carry on editing or making changes to the PDFs in the plugin settings panel. So let's just quickly hop over and take a quick look at what options we have available to us in the free version of this plugin. Okay, so we set most of the things up, but you might wanna tweak things a little bit. What options do we have to do that? Well, I've jumped back into the PDF invoice settings section, and inside here we've got three different tabs. Let's take a really quick overview of some of the key things you might find useful. Now, most of these are controlled when you set up through the wizard right at the beginning, but if you chose not to use the wizard or you wanna make some changes, all those options are available inside here. So we can choose how the PDF actually works, whether you want to allow it to be opened in a new tab or window, or you force a download. You can't choose any templates for the free version, so you can basically ignore that. The paper size is back what we saw in the wizard earlier on, so we can set this to A4 or letter. And you can also switch this to test mode if you have problems with the currency symbol and so on. You can configure those inside here as well. Everything is really well documented should you want to make changes. You can change your logo. You can set the logo height. So if you find that your logo is a little bit on the big side and looks a little bit weird, well, you can adjust the size of that inside here as well. And you can fine tune and tweak this to get exactly what you want. Now, if for any reason you want to change the shop name, your shop address, add terms and conditions and policies, etc., you can do all that inside here. The extra template fields, you can basically ignore those because they're only part of the premium template for this, so we can't use those. So you can ignore those completely. Jumping over to the document section, this is kind of useful because this is where you can control where you want to display invoices or packaging slips. You can also go ahead and enable and disable either of those as well. So again, when we went through the wizard at the beginning, we set up the options, but if you wanted to change them, you can do all that inside here. You can also completely disable the invoice or the packaging slip using the same options inside here as well. And if you want to go through and fine tune and tweak any of the options, you can do that from here. And you can see we can choose whether we want to allow the user when they go into their My Account section, which you just taken a look at, if they get access to the invoice and when they get access to it, if we allow them. So we've got some options inside there to tweak that to get exactly what you want. Finally, we've got the status section. If you come into here, you've got various different things that you can set up. I'd recommend checking through if you get some kind of compatibility issues, you could maybe switch on to legacy mode, test things out, make sure everything works. But what is useful is the automatic cleanup. And you can set this to automatically clean up PDF files. So if you have a very big store, which has lots of orders going through it, these could mount up quite quickly, at which point you might want to clean these up. So you can set that to be whatever date period that you want, and then get that to clean up in the background for you. Once you've finished making any changes to these sections, make sure you hit the save changes to commit them and you are done. Now we've seen how easy it is to add WooCommerce PDF invoices and packaging slips to our website, you may want to carry on learning how to customize WooCommerce further. If you do, check out this playlist next. It is jam packed with great videos to help you out. Now, as always, all of the applicable links are in the description below. And if you got value from this video, well, why not hit that thumbs up button? But if you didn't get value, well, feel free to hit the thumbs down button twice as that seems to work pretty well too. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.